Yo, Steel Mills, what's the Diz Hill, man? On the road trip. Heading to motherfucking Norfolk, Nebraska to do some shit for the job. The peep game, man. Um, hold up. My daughter done got me something. Sick strep throat or something. <clears throat> so I'm raspy as shit right now. But, um... I've been going back and forth with people since Saturday about if Josh Taylor is really a worthy foe for Terrence Crawford. What I will say is this, before I answer that question. <clears throat> I don't think he should look in the direction of a Josh Taylor at this point in time. At this point in time, there's... There's too many fighters... In, the, in his division as of now that are available. I don't know what's going on with him and Porter. I don't know why that, that, just, that fight just can't come into fruition. Thurman is on the bench. Garcia. Like, I'd take Garcia off of a loss with Spence at the moment than anybody else, than a Josh Taylor because he's established in the division established. I don't think he needs to be looking at a Josh Taylor right now. <clears throat> I, I, I don't. I don't. Because if he fights Josh Taylor, I just don't feel he's going to get the credit for it. Especially his first fight into the division. But I'll be acclimated into the division. Oh, he had to pull up Josh Taylor from one foe to eat this and that and the third. Yada, yada. It's always something to slight bud whenever he goes and he fights somebody. He eradicates them niggas. It's always something. You can never get credit for it. It's always some other shit. I don't think he should look in the direction of a Josh Taylor at this point in time. I think he needs to go and run that with, I mean, shit, even Ortiz and Boots. I think Ortiz and Boots, I think that would be a more credible win than, not credible. I think Josh Taylor would be a more credible win because he's a champion, an undisputed champion. But I just think uh, uh, <clears throat> Jerron and Virgil Ortiz are they're acclimated to the division. So I, that, that's five fights right there. And oh guys, that's six. There's six fighters that is available for Bud. And he that he shouldn't have to wait till fall to get in there and run that shit. So you have six fight you have six fighters on the shelf right now that's waiting to be matched up. Man, go handle that. Don't you know? No Jose Cito Lopez. We are we more than a month removed from a big announcement that was supposed to go down. There was no plan B in sight. I like I was already under the impression you wasn't getting that Manny fight. I thought Manny took more steps to get in that fight than I figured he would. I didn't think he would sign a contract to fight you. <clears throat> Damn, my voice. I didn't think he would sign a contract to fight you. I don't. Or I didn't. And even Bo Mack came out and said, yeah, he signed that contract. Salute them for doing that shit. But I just, I don't think that you should look in the way of a Josh Taylor at the moment. I think you should most definitely look to those welterweights that's established and acclimated to the division. With that being said, I think Josh Taylor versus Bud is a great fight. I really do. A lot of people here in the city, I've been talking to people, and they think he stops Josh Taylor, and I just don't see that happening. I, I, I don't see that happening, man. Uh, I see Bud winning <clears throat> pretty con pretty convincingly, actually. I see Bud, because I just think Bud is a lot more, you know, he's craftier. He's craftier, he, you know, he can... And he's better, he's better from all three distances, in the sense of, like... Josh Taylor is good in the clinch. He's good in the phone booth, but that is where his best is at. Bud's best is from long, mid, and up close. So, um, I don't know. And, um, I, you know, it's, it's um, I think it takes a minute to chop for Josh to reestablish his, his distance. In a fight, even when you look at the Jose, now, yeah, the Jose Ramirez fight, 
Ramirez was closing distance real early. Like I said, he would. He would be closing distance <clears throat> and kind of forcing Josh Taylor to a fight. He would be. And he was able to get some early rounds in because of it. He's going to close distance. I think um, uh, Jose Ramirez closes distance faster than Bud. But Bud is a lot more methodical with how he closes the distance. And once he get in there, he's very slick and sleek in the clinch. He is. He is. I mean, he can be sleek and he can be rugged as well, as we saw with Cavalazquez. <clears throat> he walked that dude down and stopped him, knocked him the fuck out. A big, brolic dude. So I think he would get in there and, you know, <coughs> he closed distance on Josh Taylor and Josh Taylor would be willing to oblige him early on and he could fuck around and get caught with something, caught with something nice up in there. And that could be a detriment to the, you know what I'm saying, to him for the rest of the fight. That's how I see it, man. Uh, I just think Bud is a lot, you know, Bud is, uh, Bud is just, I think Bud is just better. I think he's, I think he's better. Bud is better. But that don't mean it ain't a great fight. Josh Taylor is a great fighter. Undisputed after, what, 18 fights? That's some Alexander Usyk shit. You gotta salute them dudes. But I just think, um, <clears throat> a lot of people up here in the city are like, oh man, he gonna stop Taylor. I just, I don't see that happening. I think he wins most definitely. A stoppage though, no. No, I, I don't see a stoppage. I don't see a stoppage at all. At this point, I think Josh Taylor is better than all of the fighters that Bud has fought at 47. I, I do, I do, I do. Better and in his prime. Better and in his prime clearly more accomplished with him being undisputed. Range here, you dig? I mean, much better IQ. I think Kell Brook, <clears throat> Kell, uh, Kell Brook had the goods. He just was damaged by the time he got to that fight. Punch resistance was too low for him to be able to deal with. Uh, he won the first two rounds. But as soon as Bud switched southpaw and went to third, you clearly started seeing him taking over that fight. And then the round after that, it was that shit was a done data. Amir Khan, nah. Even now, I think these are credible wins. Don't get me wrong, but Amir Khan just... Amir Khan, as good as he is, as fast as he is, and, you know, his, <clears throat> his hands are, you know, his hands move before his feet put him in position. So it's a lot of lunging that he does. He'll overload you with it, you know what I'm saying? Which is throwaway punches to set up some to set up some shots. And it's effective until you run into across a dude who's really, you know, composed and poised in there like Bud. And it just it didn't work to his benefit. He was on a lot of lunch. I think Amir Khan before Canelo got to him would have been a much better fight. It'd have been a much better fight. Jose Benavidez, nah, yeah. Taylor's better than him. Taylor's, he's better than Cavalasquez. Clear as day better than Jeff Horn. So I think that's a damn good fight, man. I, I do. I think it's a damn good fight. They both have, they have all the same intangibles from switching <clears throat> to counter punching from the outside setting traps, you know what I'm saying? Lateral movement, they both, they have all of the intangibles of one another, but I just think blood is better. I, mean, I think blood is better. So, uh, <clears throat> that's what I think, man. I think, uh, you know, people is, what makes y'all think that Bud would stop 
I, I, I want to I wanna know that. What? How is Bud, like, what makes y'all say he gets stopped by Bud? Josh Taylor. What makes y'all say Josh Taylor just off rip gets stopped by Josh Taylor? Because I can't think of one. I haven't seen anything from Taylor that says, nah, he, Bud would take that and use it again, you know, and just completely stop him. I think, you know, <clears throat> I just, I think his, his willingness to fight in a clinch will work in Bud's favor, but I think it'll work in Bud's favor in the sense of him hurting him and, you know what I'm saying, gaining some early rounds. That's what I think. But a stoppage, I can't see. I, I don't see a stoppage. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. And it's a great fight. I think that's a very great, credible fight for Bud. But I do think you should look in the direction of those six established welterweights. Porter, Thurman, <clears throat> Garcia, Ugas, Boots, and Ortiz. You should look in their direction. Look in their direction because that's just the direction that he needs to be looking at. They're talking about Josh Taylor may have a mandatory. He may have to fight his mandatory. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if they make him fight his mandatory, you're going to be on the show for well over a year. Don't do that. Get in, you know, get back, get right in there with you. It, it, there's nothing wrong with you staking. I want one of them. And I just feel like at the moment, I think, I, I think you are going to leave uh, Bob Aaron. I think you're going to leave because you just realize how incompetent he is. So if you do leave him and you decide you want to wait till I talk to your contract is up, I can understand that. I get that. But let that be the reason you sit you, you decide to wait till fall to get a fight. But yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. I, uh, I I do I do think. <clears throat> Josh Taylor and Bud is a damn good fight. I think it's a damn good fight. I don't know what these niggas is talking about. And he, I don't. I, I just. I don't think he's gonna knock him out. I see him dropping Josh. I can most definitely see that. I can see him walking right up in there, you know, methodically moving in, closing distance, and landing something significant and putting him on his pockets. I can see that. As far as a stoppage, I can't see. I got this, I can't see. So let me know what y'all think, man. Like and subscribe. Peace.